Hello everyone, I am Chris Phillips, here again to do yet another video review. Today we'll be taking a look at Mario Strikers Charged, developed by Next Level Games and published by Nintendo on the Nintendo Wii. Mario Strikers Charged is the second game in the Mario Strikers series, and other than some basic refinement of the gameplay mechanics, you're seeing pretty much the same game as you saw last time, with the exception, of course, of the new online mode. In the original Mario Strikers, you had a number of uh, Mario characters you could select as your captain. However, the other players on your team seemed to be made up from uh, predetermined characters. This time around, not only did you get to pick your captain, but you also get to pick your sidekicks as well. This is important because each sidekick has their own individual stats and abilities, so balancing out your team is now a more of a strategy and less of just picking one captain and getting some sidekicks picked for you. On the pitch, the game is pretty much similar to what it was last time. The gameplay is a bit slower this time around and the addition of having sidekicks with individual stats adds a deeper level of strategy in the actual gameplay. The power-ups have also not changed very much from last time other than the addition of a captain power-up which essentially activates each captain's special ability. Each captain's special ability is unique to that type of character. For example, Mario and Luigi's special ability is to grow into giants and then they crush all the other players on the field. And then a player like Wario's special ability is this kind of incredibly smelly fart that kind of uh, messes with your players controlling if they get a whiff of it. So you're seeing powers that are unique to those characters and then kind of fit each uh, one of the captains. Also, these power-ups seem to be handed out less often than they were in the last game. It seemed to become almost a power-up fest in the original Mario Strikers. However, in this game, I've seen uh, a minute or two gone into the game where uh, neither my, me or my opponent have, have gotten power-ups. So the power-ups are a little less of a factor in this game as well. And the final thing they've added to the game is Mega Strikes. And these Mega Strikes can only be activated by each team's captain. And when you activate a Mega Strike, it almost activates too many games at once. The first one is played by the person who's activating the Mega Strike, and it's in this fashion of a almost like a kicking meter. Your first uh, motion up actually controls how many shots you'll get off in the Mega Strike, and then the second motion down uh, determines how fast each shot up will go. Once these shots get off, anywhere from three to six shots, it goes into a goaltending mini game for your opponent, in which the, your opponent holds the Wii Met remote up to the screen and controls uh, a pair of gloves and tries to save each ball as they come towards the net. The Mega Strikes seem like it would be something that would uh, unbalance the game, however that is not the case. If you play online, you're rarely going to see anyone use a Mega Strike because they are so easy to stop. I've sat back and stopped six Mega Strikes with not, without even trying, so the Mega Strikes aren't as big a factor in the game in a player versus player matchup but if you're playing the computer, it's something you can exploit to get back into the game. In terms of gameplay modes, we're seeing pretty much the same gameplay modes that we saw last time. You've got a cup gameplay mode in which you play through four cups to unlock new characters and pretty much unlock all the arenas in the game. However, there are two new gameplay modes, the first being Striker Challenge, which essentially puts you in one of 12 challenge games in which you must like come back from five goals down or beat an opponent by more than seven goals in a game. And the newest and most important mode they've added to Mario Strikers is the online mode in this game. Now this is important because this is one of the first online games to come out for the Nintendo Wii. I would say it's the first ever game to come out online for the Nintendo Wii because I don't think Pokemon Battle Revolutions counts because that online mode was absolutely terrible. But that's another review for another time. When you get on the online mode of Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii, it's going to be both limiting yet an enjoyable experience. There are two basic ways you can play a game online. First is you can play a game from a roster of who's on your friends list. And the second way is you can play a bunch of random ranked matches. Now these ranked matches are pretty much determined at random based on how well you connect your opponent. And for the most part, the gameplay in Mario Strikers Charge Online is pretty much the most lag-free experience I've ever had in any online game. I know, take a second, let that wash over you. Uh, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I've played so many different sports games online and had to deal with uh, delay issues, notable, noticeable delay issues in, in online games. In this game, I do not notice noticeable delays in pretty much 90% of the matches I play online. 
So, that's a huge accomplishment for Nintendo, despite the lack of, of in-game lobbies or, or a really robust leaderboard. That's still something pretty pretty strong to say that Nintendo's actually been able to pull off a game with pretty much lag-free online gameplay. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Mario Strikers Charged is just a fun game to play, whether you're playing offline with friends or online against people you don't even know. The gameplay has been refined to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more strategic, and the Mega Strikes don't unbalance the game in the way I thought they would. The online mode, despite obviously having friends codes and a lack of an in-game lobby, is disappointing. However, with a lag-free online experience, it kind of cancels out those two factors. If you're at all a fan of arcade sports games or the Mario Strikers series in general, you owe it to yourself to take a look at this game, at least rent it, or possibly even buy it. This is a strong online title for the Nintendo Wii. And this title also gives me high hopes that another title coming from Nintendo can also copy this success for its online play.